Dr. Terence Martin, finance expert and the national of St. Kitts and Nevis, was the lead financial literacy, literacy consultant in Grenada over the past few weeks as the country transitions to fortnightly payment of salaries for civil workers. A similar move in St. Kitts and Nevis is expected by summer of this year, according to the ruling St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party administration. In a video interview, Dr. Martin spoke of a few of the topics discussed in Grenada and the benefits of switching to fortnightly payments. The point of the seminars is to basically, one, create financial awareness, create financial knowledge, because a lot of the financial mistakes that we observe is a lack of financial knowledge. The, the fear, though understandable, it actually could be a good thing in, in going to fortnightly, because what happens then uh, is that, for example, somebody with a loan, instead of making one payment a month, could make two payments a month, cut that payment in half. And because of this process called time value of money and understanding compound interest, they would realize that over time, they actually pay less in interest and they will pay off that loan faster. So that's the, some of the topics that we're talking about. Virtual and in-person sessions were held and topics included the psychology of money, understanding how to set smart financial goals, compound interest, and the time value of money. Dr. Martin also warned against the high cost of borrowing money while advocating for the common man to be able to invest easily. But also too, when it comes to borrowing, right, high cost of borrowing is a thing. We've seen the rise of petty loan companies in the Caribbean. Why? Because they fill a needed space. People need access to capital. And on a regional scale, we need to find ways in which to make capital less expensive. We could liken this to some of our uh, uh, Asian counterparts where their governments make access to capital a lot easier. And obviously, with small developing countries, we don't have the similar resources. However, we, we, we have to find ways in which to make the cost of locals doing business more attractive, right? Because a business is an investment. A business is an investment. He also gave tips for persons to make better financial decisions. Let's talk about money. Let's break this, this ridiculous cycle where we, we tell our kids, oh, you think I make a money or uh, cash money don't grow on trees. Explain where money actually grows from and explain that this is the importance of school. You go to school, you learn, so you come to the job market and then you exchange your human capital for financial capital because that's what education and experience is. Then you're paid financial capital and then now we have a decision to make every step. Do you spend a dollar or do you save a dollar? And what's the implication each way? Understand the psychology of money. Understand why one parent is a spender and one parent is a saver. Uh, we have to start young. Investing a dollar at 20 is more powerful than investing a dollar at 35. Learn about compound interest. Download the Easy Calculator app. Learn about time value of money. There's an app called BlueCoins, and BlueCoins is a powerful tool just to visualize our financial position. He said persons should not wait until it's too late to pay attention to their finances or wait until something happens to act.